turn your radio up louder, louder, just a little bit louder, because the next hour, you're going to be tuned in to Donnie Jones Live with Donnie Jones and Marty Ringer. Hey, hey, can we just stick with Marty? Because like that Marty ring, it, it don't have that ring to it, you know? I'm just saying. And Marty, with your host, Donnie Jones and Marty, sponsored by Don's Tree Service. It's Donnie Jones Live, right here, right now, right now. Donnie Jones Live. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Donnie Jones Live. I am your host, Donnie Jones, hanging out with... Marty, Mar- Marty Ringer this week. Yep, Marty yeah, Ringer. Keep Marty it Ringer good. this week. Uh, yes. Marty, Marty last yes, week. Yes, what you yes. gonna be next week? I, you know, I'm gonna think about it, but you know what was great? I got a new business venture this week. what you so do? So it might be... It, it might, okay, you know, sometimes new things come out of tragedy. Yes, they so do. So my, my, my niece's my niece's little puppy ran away. I right? know. Oh, but it, it gave me a new... Uh, uh, opportunity to do a new job thing. Because here's the thing, I'm thinking about selling Marty's Paralyzed Puppies. You know, <laughs> the puppies that don't run away. And it's like, it's a whole study behind it, so it's like, Peter, don't get Marty, mad at I'm me. But you. no, we're doing, we doing auditions, you know, with puppies. It's like, I take them on the fourth uh, story, throw them down. Okay, if they hit, level, it's like, this, if they walk away, they disqualify. <laughs> but if they stay, then they're a candidate. I'm saying, on that, on that note, it's the kid, Marty, puppies that don't that run note, away. Party, Just, that, that, what is that? Marty's puppies that don't Marty's run away. Marty's paralyzed puppies, the oh puppies gosh, that don't dude, run I'm away. You, you don't you have know, no every, surprise feels. Something. Hey, work. I'm just saying, you know, little kids, if you want to have okay. a tea party with the little okay, puppy, it ain't go. I, 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 got, I got a new business, too. It's okay. called the Muffler. The, muff, uh, it's a, the Muffler. What happens is, when you start saying stuff that don't make sense, uh-huh. people just, just, just get a just muffler, muffler on your muffler, mouth. Okay. Exactly. Okay. I'm sorry. Anyway, who yeah. we got today, Donnie? This Dude, is a great weekend. We have a lit show today. Can I say that? We had a lit show today. Lit show. I am so excited about this guest because he is a world-renowned artist. Oh. He's got art that has been seen all around the world. He's also somebody that is a St. Louis native son, which I am also a native daughter of oh. St. Louis, Missouri, and he's also someone that is very dear to my heart. I'm talking about none other than the award-winning artist known as Daniel Hodges. Daniel. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Oh, well, we're glad mm-hmm. to have you. Glee, yeah. Glad to have, A lot of people think I'd be joking when I say he's my brother, but he really is my brother. He really is your brother? Yeah, because okay. right, yeah, right. I guess because you're so talented and you people talented? know you. I, I'm talented, but I'm trying <laughs> to tell you to figure out what I'm... It does? Yeah, it does. What's mm-hmm. my talent? Well, oh, bang chicken very wing clear. wing. Very clear. <laughs> bang chicken wang wang. You know how to put words together. <laughs> I know how to put words. <laughs> and cut your tree down oh, at wow. the same time. No, that... That's like cooking up, what was it, broccoli? Uh, uh, broccoli? Oh, dude, <laughs> right. you mess with us. I'm going to eat broccoli. You just kicked off the radio. I ain't going to lie, though. When Wanda Smith said broccoli, I just lost it. Before, yeah. before Kat even said something, I was like... Oh, oh dude, yeah, that's just south. that just <laughs> right. bad. But no, you got you got a lot of talent. We ain't gonna talk about the name. No, on a different place, that. different. But you know, oh. we we here to talk about him, right? right. We are here. here to talk about you. And, and you know what? I I thank you because you set your clock the right way because you know it's daylight savings time and you here on time and oh, I appreciate yeah. that. That's you right. Because you know some people are gonna make excuses for two weeks. That's right. You know, like well, I they didn't can't make right. excuses in right. two days when they gotta vote. They gotta that vote is in true. two days. That that is true. It don't matter who you vote for, as long as they're gonna legal. Stop lying. It do matter who you vote for. Okay, yeah, whoever's going to legalize, <laughs> you know, man, like, vote for them. It matters. It matters. Right. So, Calm but yes, sir. Uh, mind is a terrible thing to waste. Uh-huh. Some weed is some terrible stuff to waste, too. That, too. So, that so, too. Unless you waste it little bit by bit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But Let's let me, bring us back in the day. Yeah. As we, we should be talking to you, Daniel. Right, you know, right. We, we get a little crazy. Talk to us about you, your artistry, how you got started doing this, and just... Being the awesome mm. person that you are. Mm, well, first I want to say to God be the glory. Preach. Uh, I've never mm. had a painting class. My mother bought me coloring books up until 14. Uh, Dude, I'm you from was 14 St. years Louis. old wow. in coloring books? Born and raised in okay. St. Louis. Uh, went off. to Sumner High School. Yes, I did. I uh, actually got into uh, painting professionally at 33. I was kind of okay. old at doing it. I really decided... A buddy of mine, we were going to go into business, but I right. decided that I would venture off and say, what is this something that I would really do for free Right. that I could possibly yeah. get paid doing it? And, uh, you know, the Lord has really blessed me. I've been able to do it now. Let's see, December 2nd will be 23 years that That's, I've been doing oh, wow. it. Guys, here's the beautiful thing about Dan, Daniel is that this is what you do. You're passionate about it. You followed mm-hmm. 
the dream that God put in your heart. Oh yeah. And that's that's powerful to me because mm. I hear so many people, especially people of faith, talking about, you know, God gave me this gift, but then they're not willing to to follow Ex- that gift. Right. Follow you know? would have expound on it or anything. And a lot of times those gifts <clears throat> get kind of erased or dwindled away. Right. You know, but I, I gotta say, I'm looking at this this picture right here that you that you brought into the studio and I am just mm-hmm. like I wouldn't even know how to start, right. you know, even in like, how do you, how do you, when you, how like do this, you start that this portrait here? Cause it's, it's a collage of so many things of history in a sense. And I'm like, how do you get your, for one, I guess, inspiration yeah. and what is your starting point? Yes. Well, what, what, what happens is the Lord gives me the pieces. I, I can't even take, it's hard for me to even take claim on it. He'll give me an idea and it's usually around, some of the spiritual and then some of the social social um, issues that's going on. And this mm-hmm. particular piece is called School Minus Prayer Equals Despair. Wow. And, uh, the uh, painting as a whole is basically this young lady is sitting at a bus stop and there's an ad in back of her of uh, it's kind of a spinoff from Duncan High and Cake Mix, but it's Duncan <laughs> High Devil's Food wow. Cake Mix. Mm. And and the devil is basically sitting on a cake, uh, the flames of a cake, smiling, because in 1962, that's when they took prayer out of schools. Well, this young lady who's yeah. sitting here, it's a badge on her uh, across her face showing that in the 11th grade, she was on the National Honor Society, president of the student council and junior prom queen. But in just that short time, now this is her senior year, she's pregnant, she has her hair is wild. She got tattoos all over her body, and she's really just has fallen apart just in that short period of time. Wow. This is really is present day, right? And uh, also, in the far distance, there's a um, there's a picture of the uh, Space Needle in Seattle right. and the St. Louis Arch and the uh, and the uh, Statue of Liberty showing that this is from the East Coast to the West Coast. That's amazing. And the high school she's attending is the US USA High School, just mm. showing that it's right. across the bro, you know, across the spectrum. Right. And just really just kind of showing that we have to pray for our own children. We do yeah. have to pray for our we children. Really do. We and the beautiful thing is what they won't do. Mm-hmm. I want people to be able to see what you just did because obviously, you know, we do shoot this and then we, you know, put it out or whatever. But, you know, for the people that didn't get a chance, that aren't getting a chance to see what we're seeing right now, right. how do they get in contact with you so that they can see more of your art or actually purchase some of your art? Well, uh, I'm actually having a show in December 14th at the Southwest Art Center on, uh, what's that, 915 New Hope okay. Drive in Cascade. And it's free to the public. And uh, I really have, like, some of my lithographs are going to be for sale. So it's really price effective for those who are interested in originals and okay. also in uh, reproduction. And how do we get in touch with you online? Once again, guys, we're talking to Daniel Hodges, uh, world-renowned artist from St. Louis to the ATL. Tell us how we can get in contact with you, whether it's on Facebook or whether you want hit to hit, hit him up on his Instagram. How, how do we get in contact with okay, you? Okay, so I'm on Facebook. It's Daniel Leon Hodges. And Instagram artist Daniel Hodges, and I also can be reached at www.danielhodges.com. That's my website, and my email address is Daniel. Ho- oh wait a minute, Hodges Fine Art at yahoo.com. Okay, you know gotcha. I, 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 I'm trying to still get my composure because when you was describing the, the your painting. I realized late that that was you with the little laser pen. Yeah. Right. I just saw a dot in this studio, and I'm trying to figure out who aiming at us. Oh and I'm God. starting to, and I'm right. just like, Somebody look, y'all can pay shoot. attention, but somebody is scoping us, us out. out. Right. I'm getting nervous, and you know, I ain't nobody else. I was coming from. I didn't from. either. That's why I was like, hold on, calm out. You can Let talk me about you the what picture. what my thought was. What? I saw the dot pointing that way, and I'm like, okay. I'm good. Right, right, right. right. I'm on the other side. But, uh, you know, I, I, I'm looking at a producer, Al, who's a great producer, but he wasn't scared either. And right. I'm like, okay, something wrong. You know? Something right. is wrong. But, you know, <laughs> it, it, it was taking me up because I, I, I see your painting and I'm just like, wow. And, uh, and I got to ask you, do you, 
When you start something like this, do you, mm-hmm. you know, get a little alleviated at all to get some oh, of them no. creative? Because I'm like this. No, I I could, I'm you know, just, we're going to talk about that in the next Because I'm session. curious because I'm like, I would have to, oh, no, I can't do that so Right, right. That is, no. that is really, really creative. But anyway, that's I'm, what sorry, true, I'm sorry. That's what true talent. It that, comes that from is, within. Yeah. You ain't got to lot a of work. Drink I know, I know. To, to I, not even a true, but, you know, we got to go pay some bills. and I got to make sure that I got to throw in this plug because we're going to commercial. This segment is sponsored by Marty's Parallel. Paralyzed puppies. Oh if you are like a paralyzed puppy, <laughs> Marty, you gonna get us kicked I'm just, off the just, air. Just, <laughs> lying. You guys, we'll be right back. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hey, this is your girl, Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service. Don's Tree Service has been serving the metro Atlanta area for almost 20 years. I'm a certified arborist, and we are fully licensed and insured. Call us at 770-413-TREE. We give free estimates, and we don't charge extra for cleanup. Don's Tree Service, that's 770-413-TREE, or visit us online at donstree.com. So the reason we went with Don's Tree Service is we needed a couple things done at our house. We needed some trimming of uh, some trees done. But then we also had this old, big, beautiful tree in our backyard that was, our deck was built around this tree. And it was just getting old and limbs were starting to fall and we just knew eventually it was either going to land on the house or we needed to have it taken down. So we called around and got a few quotes and then we met with Don's Tree Service and they were just, they were awesome. And they we ended up going with them and um, I can't say enough about their work. The, they came in with their crane and got the tree down and it looks great. It looks great. I would definitely use them again. Hey, got a comment about the show? Or would you like to just be a guest? Send us an email at DonnieJonesLive at gmail.com. Now, back to more Donnie Jones Live with Donnie and Marty. Yo. Hey, we are back. Yes, I am yes. your host, Donnie Jones, hanging out with... Marty, that ringer. Yeah, me. and yep. we have an awesome guest on the show today, Mr. Daniel Leon Hodges, artist extraordinaire. Hello, say hello. something, Daniel. Hello, mm-hmm. hello. <laughs> you know, that's the worst thing for somebody to say. Just say something. Just say something. And it's uh, like, like, well, what do I supposed to say? Hello? hello. Oh, hi. I, I like rice. Oh, I have like, a disclaimer. Right. We do not advocate hurting puppies. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Just I, I, I am joking. You should not hurt any kind of animal in the daytime in public or anything of that nature. Anything where somebody can see right. you. If they can see you or document it, do not do that, you know. Exactly. Now, I wish I told Vic <laughs> that. No documentation. Right. Right, right, Mike Vick, no cousins, cousin, no nothing. Oh my I'm just saying. That was a whole they, other story, that actually. That was some stupidness. No. Exactly. He wasn't making the right money. No. So, Daniel, yes. I, yeah, no, no, you, got, you got to a point in your career where you said that I can do this. For people that do have a gift, going back to what we're talking about, mm-hmm. and they hear God specifically say to them, listen, use your gift. What does it take? What do you suggest a person do when they have that feeling or they have that 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 gumption from God? Uh, just to go out and do it, just start it and, uh, and have faith. But the most important thing also is to make sure you do the business side also. Right. It's yeah. just as important as anything that you're creating because, you know, you work hard at whatever it is that you're doing and people will get a hook onto it and they'll be making more money from it than you will. Right. So you have to really make sure that you uh, pay as much attention to to the business side as you do to the creative side. Uh, did you go through a time where you like maybe didn't do so well on the bit? Like even though as a great artist, you as long as I've known you, you've been a great artist. But Thank you. was there like a tough lesson that you had to learn about the business side while growing your business? Well, I never, I never, uh, I did the ghetto side of it. I, <laughs> did, did, I just made money and didn't pay taxes. Dang. But I, you know, I Dang. wasn't officially on the chart. <laughs> I was just, so I never got taken, you know, oh by anybody. But it, Wait a minute, are you trying to say you just... You yeah, just, I, did gonna, bro just man, gonna, I did a bro man. I did a bro man. Yeah, yeah. Trying to protect yeah. you, bro. Yeah, just yeah go, back to, go back to we're paralyzed skip on, on. So, uh, uh, bro, um, how yeah. do you, uh, just, like, this portrait here, how do you yeah. copyright yeah. your... How do you copyright... Yeah, do you want the bro man? The bro man? I ain't paid no tag. You want the bro man version of the... Exactly. Official legal. Mm-hmm. 
side of Yeah, we just want to keep you safe. Exactly. That's, That's all. all we yeah. try to do is keep yeah. you safe. Yeah. But, well, but I am no. legit now. You're I legit now. Exactly. Right. And right. you've been legit for many years. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Many, yes. Many, yes. Sell it. Much sell longer it. than yeah. I've been uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. with Bruh Man Tax Service. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Because right. they will send you letters. Did you say you went to Bruh Man Tax Services? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, we know how. Well, you get like. Oh, yeah. Five, five, five. Yeah. Try to sandwich. And they'll do your taxes. What you know? Or you babysit for them and they do your taxes. Oh, what? Yeah, oh, yeah. I like them kind of hey, people. Hey, man, I learned my lesson doing the people doing the people that babysit for you and they do your taxes. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's when you get a tax bill for a half a million dollars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? I yeah. did this. Well, I didn't do this, but a friend of mine, some they really did this. They paid this guy to fix their car. They had some wheel problems. They, they paid him in beer. No. And yeah, oh, he and he, so he drank while he worked on oh, their tires that's not good. and everything. Tires and then fell off, didn't they <laughs> fell off in the middle of the road. And I oh, just let, I, I, I couldn't. I said, "What you, what you expect? Can't you paid him in it. beer, right. and it was that malt liquor." But anyway, let me ask you a question: With this kind of portrait here, how do you copyright your your material? Yeah. I'm saying, well, like, you when you send it to the, um, you send a copy of it to the Library of Congress. That's a big copy. Should I be doing that no, with no, my no, book? You, you shoot it. Hmm. Oh. Should I have done that with my book? Your book ain't copyrighted. Oh, oh, no, wait a minute. I go through a publisher house. You got so a book, my, Okay, got it. You you make, okay. so we ain't going to so interview you about your book. Right. Did I do what? Did I write my name on my book? Donnie Jones. Oh, right, right. <laughs> but um, uh, so, you, so you can do copyright. Now, if someone like this, this is the original piece. How do you make copies of your original pieces? Because this is, what size is this? Because this is uh, a large. This is 36 this is big. by 48. But you... Um, Take it to a professional photographer. Not it's not just your regular thirty-five millimeter or digital. Right. Okay. Because and you get it's it not somebody with an iPhone. A, right. You get it <laughs> yeah. placed on a TIFF file. Okay. Now they uh-huh. have you know like I recommend to a lot of artists that they put a, a watermark over their work when they're you know publishing it on Facebook and things like that because. A lot of times, people just steal your work. Yeah, I do Are that. Are you serious? Yeah. I do oh it all the time. Oh, my goodness, No, 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 no. I moved into my house, and I need, I was trying to impress this lady. Okay. So I went online, and I printed off a whole lot of nice <laughs> artwork, you know, just on my little printer and everything, put in the frame, and she, was classy. Right. she just knew I was classy. She was like, who is that? Where did that? you get that Oh, that's go? from LaCree, um, um, Porter <laughs> Sanford. <laughs> right. Just right, making up right. names, she don't. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I, I don't deal with educated women sometimes. Dude, you need to so deal you with just, Wait a minute. <laughs> Why you got to keep bringing that okay, up? All right, we on sorry. radio. Trying to hurt okay. you. You keep bringing it. We on okay, radio. Okay, not be- married. I'm sorry. <clears throat> not this weekend. You know. Oh, Lord. I'm just saying. You know, it's funny. We've been actually reading your book. But we'll talk about that later. Okay. About having sex. Uh, but it's very important. It really is. It's but- very, very important. Oh, I believe problem in is that. We don't like to have sex with each other. Uh, that is you a know? problem, Mark. Yeah, the book she talks like it, about like monogamy. Okay. Well, not really. Back means. to Mr. Yeah, Daniel. Sorry, as sorry, you that is a sidebar. Yes. Sidebar, sorry. He's Love been you, at baby. the bar, as y'all can tell. Marty, you were off the chain today. What did you have uh, for breakfast? I, I actually hit a two uh, cap with espresso in uh, y'all. We in giving the... Starbucks a shout right, out. Right, right. No, no, no. They, okay. they got the, the, the station here is a wonderful station. They have yeah. a coffee machine back there that you can Man, pick you the put different kind. you in yours, for and sure. I, and I thought I was doing something nice, and I because I usually just drink it black, but yeah. I hit like double espresso. You did. Mm. I and it's just feel like, it. ooh, I can tell. Jesus, I, so my Daniel, hands are moist. <laughs> <What's>, <laughs> Daniel Hodges, yes. what is up yes, for you next? Well, next, well, I'm working on a piece now. It's called The Graduates. It's okay. uh, 72 inches wide and 40 wow. inches high. And uh, I'm going to be in, unveiling it at the show. No one okay. has actually seen it. It's never been published to the public. And I will be, for those who will attend my show, will be the first to see. Okay. So it's really something to, uh, you know, just kind of en- entice the people to come out. And support and you. Able to see. Yeah. Right. And uh, it's... Uh, is this a it's free a lot event? of detail. Oh, yes, yeah, free, free to the public. And once again, guys, we're um, talking to Daniel Hodges. Uh, he's a world-renowned mm-hmm. artist that, you know, uh, decided to step into our studio today and spend some time with us yeah, so we could kind of pick his brain, right. you know? Right. Now, and do you do spe- um, specialized, like, can somebody contact you and say, okay, I want you to do a picture of me and my grandmother and my family, a family portraits. Do you, you do anything like that? better not say yes, because no, I asked you to I do ours. No, I no longer do any more <laughs> oh, okay. commissions. Well, this ain't family work. This okay, is just, just uh-huh. Okay. I used well, to do commission work. Sometimes family I no don't longer. like to pay all the way. I don't right. know. I'm just saying. I no longer I do commission to work anymore. 
Oh, okay. yeah. No, I just, I just don't have the time, and, you know, people want crow's feet out, and they want <laughs> yeah. to take the stomach out, and they want, they Can want you the make me look ring. skinnier and make me look like <laughs> I was 16? Like seven kids and ain't never yeah. been married. Right. right. Uh -huh. That seven kids never been married, but right. want a wedding ring. Uh -huh. and, and it's just tedious. You know, it's just, right. it, and, and uh, I really, I just have to paint what the Lord's given me, and right. I have, like, a, a lot of work that I've just kind of sketched. You have a uh, painting that went viral. Can you talk to us a little bit about that painting? Yes, the name of that title, the uh, title of that piece was called Plantation Mall. And, okay. it, and it really, it was two individuals who are facing, getting ready to enter the mall. They're, okay. they're in the parking lot, and they actually have their arms up where they've been shackled, but they're not shackled with what we know as, you know, metal braces. Uh, the young man is shackled with cords from a video game, and the young lady is from the straps of her Louis Vuitton purse. Right. Oh, that's and cool. And they have whips across their back of different logos, showing that they, wow. and, and the the uh, the video uh, cord is loose, and mm -hmm. so are the straps for the purse, so they're really free to go. Right. But they become self-made slaves to all the, that it's is deep, deep dude. that's right. deep and that's it is deep. so deep i and stood so there this, um in the gallery yeah. where i saw where i saw because i the first time i'd seen it was at the gallery mm -hmm. showing that you did it Maple, maple street and i um i was blown away i was just literally yeah. blown yeah. away that piece won first place in a, with a group of like 40 other artists you gotcha know, that was the first time i'd ever won here in uh atlanta but i've won quite a bit um in uh, St. Louis, you know, you might have to hook me up with that piece after it's this. Beautiful. You know, after it's we stunning. leave here, we might need to chit chat because that's something I would like to to, to give. But anyway, Donnie, we're gonna have to uh, pay we have a bill to take real a quick. break. We're uh -huh. hanging out once again with Daniel Hodges, and we're gonna take a quick break, like Marty just said, and yep. we'll be. And right this is back. sponsored. By, okay, never mind. No, I just just <laughs> you're listening to Donnie Jones live right here, and if you want to get in contact with us, you can log on to well, just email us at Donnie Jones Live at gmail dot com. That's D O N I. I thought you was going to finish it. No, I was okay, going to okay, say. Okay, okay, you just pointed okay, your finger. Just look, hit me up on Facebook, y'all. Donnie Jones uh -huh. on Facebook. D-O-N-I Jones, J-O-N-E-S on Facebook. Do it that way. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hey, this is your girl, Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service. Don's Tree Service has been serving the metro Atlanta area for almost 20 years. I'm a certified arborist, and we are fully licensed and insured. Call us at 770-413-TREE. We give free estimates, and we don't charge extra for cleanup. Don's Tree Service, that's 770-413-TREE, or visit us online at donstree.com. So the reason we went with Don's Tree Service is we needed a couple things done at our house. We needed some trimming of uh, some trees done but then we also had this old big beautiful tree in our backyard that was our deck was built around this tree and it was just getting old and limbs were starting to fall and we just knew eventually it was either going to land on the house or we needed to have it taken down so we called around and got a few quotes and then we met with don's tree service and they were just they were awesome and they we ended up going with them and um i can't say enough about their work the they came in with their crane and got the tree down and it looks great it looks great i would definitely use them again Hey, got a comment about the show? Or would you like to just be a guest? Send us an email at DonnieJonesLive at gmail.com. Now, back to more Donnie Jones Live with Donnie and Marty. Welcome back. I am your host, Donnie Jones, with Donnie Jones Live. And you're, we're hanging out with... Yes, Marty Ringer. With and, Marty Ringer Live. Oh, sorry. Yes, Marty Ringer Live. With <laughs> And artist Daniel Hodges. Yes. 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 See, we, we forgot to kind of clue right. you yeah, in. Yeah, on we that. trying to, yeah. <laughs> right. You right. throw it here, you throw it there, <laughs> and you just jump on in there. Right, yeah. Right. But, right. <laughs> we trying. don't give you no notes with this. All uh, right, <laughs> right. You just grab hold. There you go. I just hold mm -hmm. on for dear life. But I want to ask the question because you, you just described a painting that I already know is phenomenal. Is there a way that mm -hmm. I can actually purchase it, you know, legitly and honestly? Right. You know, Cause if it's on web, if it's on YouTube somewhere, I might just. But I want to, I want to support you your wanna, business. Don't right. no bootleg. I, I, that's why I'm coming Buy straight to him. him. Right. right. How can someone purchase some of your work? You know, do you have a website that we can just kind of go and yes. like a gallery that we can? Mm -hmm. www.danielhodges.com. Okay. And can we right. make like partial payments for a picture? You know, if I we'll just want like we got, uh, okay, just layaway payments. It's getting yeah, to Christmas time. Yeah. You know. Right. 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 Yeah, just, all options. So, 
Marty. <laughs> look, you look, if you live on no my life. side, you got to put this budget. Okay, I like the picture, and I'm I, trying to, I believe in I'm trying to yeah. support. So, right. you know, if I put, you know. Yeah, we got different age brackets. I mean, uh, financial brackets. 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 Okay, right. so what other kind right. of pictures you got, it. huh? Oh what adult goodness. age bracket? He oh. he, bang, he, chicken, bang, bang. He's born again, okay? Hey, yo, I'm born again, too. You got any, like, you know, ones with a cross and a nun or something? Okay, that's cool. Yeah, with a with a bad nun. Uh-uh. Oh my you know, gosh, a naughty nun. Is that what yeah, you're naughty trying to say? PG, you know. PG all the way. Oh, all the way PG. Okay, I'm just saying. Hey, he, he's try- this man is making a difference with his artistry. Well, yeah. I will yeah. too. You this know. is really my introduction to, uh, to Atlanta. Yeah. Okay. Because you know, I've never had a one man show here. So this is really kind of me bringing myself to Atlanta. I was telling my wife, it's kind of like how Michael Jordan was in Chicago and became famous. And then when he played for the Wizards, he didn't have to reintroduce himself. Right. He sucked he at the Wizard. No, nobody right. watched that TV. Right. Oh but he, didn't nobody watched him. But they knew him as a basketball player, <laughs> the greatest ever yeah, played. Is that they yeah. knew right. right. Yeah, they knew him sitting Daddy on the bench. Daddy has a worldwide oh, name, so people right. know so, him. Yeah. Right. It's just he's okay, introducing. It. Right. <laughs> nah, you, you can compare yeah. to LeBron, but not, 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 not right. though, Michael. He was all Come fat. Come on, Michael was cool, though. He was fat. He had the beer yeah. belly, the gut. You know, Jordan. he could, he yeah, like Jordan. when he was in the Wizards, he couldn't even do it. He couldn't Are even you serious? Do it. No, yeah, I'm serious. Yeah. I, I, don't, I must have missed that. Yeah, see? I've always known Michael Jordan to be fit. And, well, and when he was with the so, Bulls, he no, was fit. I'm <laughs> fitting say, right in. But you were right. playing basketball. Right. Right. Basketball. When he was with the Bulls, he, was good. he didn't even run up and down the field. No, he just went he, half but court. But when he went to the Wizards, I don't think that's where he really wanted to be in the first place. No, he. but I'm saying he actually purchased it, and it was like an owner. And player, and it's kind of right, like. But I'm saying, did he really want to be on the court? He did he want to run it and be on the court? Yeah, he he was tired. You could tell it. He yeah. would just jog up there. Yeah. He wouldn't do no more slams. But as we were saying, yeah, from I'm sorry, Atlanta yes, yeah. to he St. Came, Louis, I'm Daniel sorry. Hodges. Once again, we are here with Daniel Hodges, <laughs> renowned artist extraordinaire. Talk to us a little bit about your show coming up and yeah. why the theme from Atlanta. I mean, from St. Louis to Atlanta. Well, I just really wanted to let the people know that uh, where I originated from and then to that I was uh, blessed to be here in Atlanta. I really like the city, and uh, I'm excited about getting to uh, know the artistic side of Atlanta. Right. Um, I'm a, a member of the AFTA organization. From We meet first of every month on the Tuesday, the first Tuesday of every month at the Hammond House. And uh, really nice organization, and I get to. Well, my see group, what we, we meet at Waffle bring. House. No, I'm yeah. <laughs> so we go there before I'm we go sorry. to the meet. I'm just messing with you. But yeah, but they really have a nice uh, organization, and they really welcome me and my wife. She's also is uh, kind of, you know, tinkling with art. She's a um, your wife is an abstract artist, so she kind of gets in my stuff. So I made her. A studio uh, on, all the way on the other side of the house, <laughs> but she's really excited about what she's doing, and so we just really kind of come in here and getting our feet wet. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you a question because you said abstract art, and um, this is honestly a, a, a serious question because sometimes I do like to just try new things. Mm-hmm. How would someone be able to get into art in a sense of saying if you? You're, I'm not trying to be like a professional. I'm not trying to get something out in a museum or anything like that, but just to get the creative juices out. What and I don't want to just have a piece of paper, you know, and a pencil. But what would you say? I'm saying like with abstract art, is there an actual approach to it? Because I can just throw some stuff on there and be like, that's good to me. Well, most <laughs> mo- mo- most people have like they have um, a lot of times with abstract art, it's really based on colors and shapes. So okay. and a lot of people don't want subjects; they really want just colors and shapes. Sometimes you have people that are just more into decor art. Where it matches the mm. decor, right? And that's where abstract really usually plays a major part. You know, a lot of times you go to these furniture stores; that's what they have, and it mm-hmm. matches up. And you can just kind of get a um, most most of the time abstract artists really follow a theme. They have a certain style that they okay. usually go with, and then they just kind of let it rip. And uh, it's not really about if you know putting a a, a round pig. You know, in a round yeah. hole, right. they just kind of go and let it go where, whichever way they feel. Okay. And uh, I'm more of a realist artist. Right. You know, I'm real structured. So mm-hmm. with everything that I do, I draw it first and make sure the composition is right and then go oh. about painting it. 
That's, a, that's, a, a, see, that's a, amazing. Yeah, that's actually a um, question because that's a different approach that a lot of people don't think of. Of you, like you're painting here, you actually started that with just pencil in a sense, oh, painting yeah, all it. all pencil. And then you come back with color and shapes and, well, textures and stuff like that with your shadows. Because I see mm -hmm. this is phenomenal. And that's what I was thinking. Like, I would mess this up if I started <laughs> just with some, you know, just paint. Just, uh, I'm right. saying, I would mess Mark. up the brick. You know, that's yeah. just a square. But guess what? You're amazing on the radio. You're great with your voice. You're amazing with production. So yeah, right. your gift is in a different area. But see, you he's know? doing this sober. You're you know? doing this. You're sober right now. Yeah, yeah, right now. Are you not sober right now? Yeah, right now. Yeah. No, but no, I'm, I'm saying it, it, it communion is, was I'm, good. Today. Communion was good. We did it with straight cotton cognac. But anyway, okay. um, but no, it is a thing. I'm saying when when I do get in my creative world, you know, it, right. there is approaches that a lot of people don't think about. You know, Absolutely. you. Mm -hmm. I'm saying when I do a commercial, I got to write out the copy. You right. know, and it's right. like you writing out your or drawing it with the pencil that right. some people don't see that Absolutely. on the other side. And with me giving appreciation to him, I didn't think about. You know, the details of you oh, yeah. drawing the book, you know, the book That's lines in it. That's why he got it. pieces that are right. boom, boom, thousand right. dollars. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. And they're pretty, you know, they're pretty expensive. Because they are expensive. They're real time consuming. Right. And, and your time I, is this, this, is worth it. This yeah. Took probably about six months to do. Wow. So sometimes yeah. I only finish like a two pieces a year. Right. Because I remember it, it, it's certain things that, you know, from the layman eye, you, you got to look at to think of. A straight line is almost hard to do. Oh, absolutely! You know, and I, and I forget the artist who made the painting of just a circle. You know, and it, it's are you a, talking about the one that's orange and it's just a circle? Okay, yeah, uh, it's a circle, but the complication of drawing a sphere by hand. You know, oh, yeah. it's, it's complicated. It's very complicated. <laughs> to me, that was still a circle. I'm sorry. Yeah, but, I just was upset. Right. And people paid and see, for that. And that's why see, I don't, you have the layman artist, person. That's why right. I was just, like, like I was just saying, drawing a straight line by hand right. is mm -hmm. very difficult. I'm saying I it would is. be using a ruler and all that oh, kind of I stuff. I definitely would be. I wouldn't right. even be trying. <laughs> but to see someone do that without that, now I don't know, he might be tricked. You know, but he might have done no, that in different way. But I'm just saying. Yeah. Certain things you have to appreciate. Absolutely. Of like, wow, it takes a lot. I'm saying like with, with your even tree abstract, service. Abstract uh -huh. is not as easy as one would think. Like, you know, like uh, when I was uh, in high school, you know, it's like, oh, man, I could do that. So the teacher challenged us. Right. Mm -hmm, right. Say, I want you to copy this exactly like it is. Mm, right. And I mean, we had to match color. But see, but that's and not that's really abstract difficult. if you're copying something. When the, when the artist is doing mm -hmm. abstract... Mm -hmm. They're doing what's coming out of them, what's what's right. um, what's coming to their mind. So right. I would think that but that's no, a little bit different. But no, they were looking at it more from the physical standpoint of like, I could do that. Right. right. Okay. It's not. It's not that. It's like, like when people it, see us cut a tree. Right. That's and what like, I was about I can to say. Tree down. Like the last I time, time I was like, you know, I asked Donna could come out here and cut a tree, and I couldn't pay for it, so I went out there to do it myself, and I hurt my little. Mm, right. You know, I had right. a little bruise, and it's right. like I thought I could do it myself. And then and you called us. Then we called you, right? Exactly. So you yeah. know, it's the thing where you appreciate someone's art. So I appreciate your art and everything, but we gotta appreciate. The Donnie Jones sponsorship. Yes, so we, we got to go in and kind of play that commercial real quick. Yes, we do. And so, we'll be right back with Daniel Hodges. Right. And Donnie Jones and Marty Ooh, Ringer on the right. Donnie Jones Live show. Show. Hey, this is your girl, Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service. Don's Tree Service has been serving the metro Atlanta area for almost 20 years. I'm a certified arborist, and we are fully licensed and insured. Call us at 770-413-TREE. We give free estimates, and we don't charge extra for cleanup. Don's Tree Service, that's 770-413-TREE, or visit us online at donstree.com. So the reason we went with Don's Tree Service is we needed a couple things done at our house. We needed some trimming of uh, some trees done. But then we also had this old, big, beautiful tree in our backyard that was, our deck was built around this tree. And it was just getting old and limbs were starting to fall and we just knew eventually it was either going to land on the house or we needed to have it taken down. So we called around and got a few quotes and then we met with Don's Tree Service and they were just, they were awesome. And they we ended up going with them and um, I can't say enough about their work. The, they came in with their crane and got the tree down and it looks great. It looks great. I would definitely use them again. Hey, got a comment about the show? Or would you like to just be a guest? Send us an email at DonnieJonesLive at gmail.com. Now, back to more Donnie Jones Live with Donnie and Marty. Yo. 
We are back. I am your host, Donnie Jones. Our show is Donnie Jones Live, hanging this out with... Marty Ringer. Daniel Hodges. Yeah, the, the artist just, extraordinary. Speaking of being just, back, we yeah. have to fall back or spring You know what? We, you know, it, fall, it is, what is it? Full, fall, back. fall back, spring for. It's one of yeah. those things, you know, I learned it in school that you have to do the rhythm, the rhyme and rhythm. I know it's the fall, so you fall back okay, in the fall. fall. Back. And okay. then the spring, you spring forward. forward. Right, okay. right. So that means I got to put my. Clock, clock back, back one hour. hour. Yeah. Okay. You know what? My church gonna be empty today. <laughs> I already know it. You know, I'm saying they they don't come on time when the clock is right. Exactly. You know, so I know no, they they're gonna, gonna have any excuse. No, you know. no, they're gonna be they're gonna be there early. Oh, you know what? That's right, because it yeah, falls it's fall forward. Back. No, they, they, fall no, back. No, it's they, fall back. They fall know, back. Well, you know you what? You don't mess people up. They know that the time gonna change. That's so right. that means I ain't change. gotta be at church. And speaking time. of time changing. Yes. <laughs> you know, no both time. of us are from St. Louis, Missouri. You know, yeah. my brother, Ooh. and um, you know, a, a, at the end of the show, we always have to have on our our last segment is called hot topics. You know, and yeah. one of the hot topics right now, of course, we've got voting coming up, and you know, all the things that are going on politically and pol- police brutality, and it kind of makes me think about what happened in Ferguson. Oh, yeah. You know, and I know you've got a piece about that. What inspired you to do that piece? And then we'll segue into talking about why it's so important to vote, y'all. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, well, I created a piece called Got Justice, and it's uh, with uh, Mike Brown uh, in the center of the piece with right. his parents flanking him on the left and right. Right. And then we have marchers uh, kind of underneath uh, the the people. Right marching you know with peace in mind but just for justice and then there's some hands there with the hands up don't shoot but they're right. in blood just dripping down just showing how uh he really didn't get a uh you know there was no justice allowed for him uh with the with his murder right but we have to keep uh striving to get the right people in there that would that would just be just we're not yeah, looking we're for not, anybody that's the to, biggest thing and this is right. one of the things me and right. marty had talked about it's like we're not going to stand in the gap when somebody is doing something they're not supposed to right but right. give us Mm-mm. the same opportunity to have our voices heard that you right. get there there's people that do bad things just like there's on one side as they do on the other, but it seems like one side gets a chance to get to court, the other side dies before they get to court. You know, and I, oh, yeah. I gotta I gotta give a, a big shout out to an officer, I believe he was in Ohio, that he stopped mm-hmm. two little boys. They said that they had a gun. These yeah. little boys had a BB gun, and they mm-hmm. dropped it, and he went out there and he really scared them on purpose to say, right. you could have lost your life today. Right. Playing with this, you know, with, right. with, with the BB gun. Right. And he actually taught them about that. And then he went home. This is a, a police officer. Went to right. their house to explain to their parents, look, right. you could have lost your child today right. because right. of, you know, the, oh, yeah. we need more people like that. We do you know, need more in, people in, like in, that. But right. the other thing is, when I was a kid, little boys liked playing with BB guns. Right. Yeah. And no, I know you, you can't yeah. do that anymore. Yeah. You can't yeah. do that Half anymore. You can't, you know? yeah, you can't and do then, that. But it's, it's a difference between when we were growing up, we played with BB guns. We right. would go out into the woods and shoot That's true. birds so it wasn't and stuff. Like we was in right. the you ain't at the, the corner store, store with a BB right. gun okay. in your you. pocket right. trying right. to you know act like I'm a hog. It's different. You know, it's totally different. Because if you're in an urban setting, how do you know that somebody's not? And you're right. It was in the backyard. Uh-huh. It was in a wooded area. That mm-hmm. type of thing. Once again, a dialogue that we need to have right. of how things have changed. But they, you know, but but you know, the only thing is like you know, me and my cousin, we played cowboys and Indians. Right. Which, if you're just looking at, oh man, they out there shooting each other. Right. So really, it's the mindset of the individual that is that has the power not to condemn just on sight. Right. You right. know, you might just be getting the wrong message, just right. like uh, the young man in, in uh, Ohio. Mm-hmm. You know, what's his, uh, Tamar Rice? Or yeah, mm-hmm. Tamar Rice. Yeah. yeah. Right, where he just was playing was a kid. in the park. That's right. And mm-hmm. they didn't give him a chance to say anything. They just shot him. And you got right. somebody just a, that, yeah. a, a little while later that walks into a church and kills nine people and, and he, he gets, gets taken to, to Burger, Burger King. King. Mm, mm, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and so th- there's got to be a change. But yeah. going back to St. Louis, we grew up in St. Louis. Right. And, you know, growing up in North County, when we first moved out there, it was not very multicultural. Mm-hmm. Then it became very multicultural. cultural, And then it became primarily a, a minority inhabited community. Right. And, mm-hmm. But the government never changed. 
The people yeah. that were in charge right. never changed. Right. The people mm-hmm. that were voted in never changed. Change. And I'm not advocating for it to be all one way or all another, but you have to have a representation for who lives in the right. community. Yeah. You know, so there can be a sensitive spirit for who lives in the community. And I think that's why it's import- so important to vote. And, and, and I'll say this, though. It doesn't, and I'm going to be straight honest with you, it doesn't matter about color. It's about change. It's about you your know? heart. Yeah. It's about your heart, and it's about change. I'm saying if you believe in a candidate, you know, vote for them, support them. You know, right. and I'm not going to say Democrat, Republican, Tea Party, or just somebody. You you better than I am. You know, I, I, I'm just saying because— I, I am not going to vote for a racist, period. Well— that that's why I'm saying, look. Right. Well, no, and, and you're right. I and don't here's care the thing. if they're black or right, white. Right, I don't right. care no, if they're Democrat or Republican. Don't vote just because my mom and them always said right. I need to vote blue. I agree. Right. You know, I agree. No. Right. Why are you voting or for this don't person? Don't vote as because you just don't ha- you're not happy with what's going on in the community, so you're just gonna vote the other way. I'm gonna just vote the other. Know who you voting for, right? You know, because I, I have done, I, and I ain't gonna lie. I don't went on a ballot and said Jackson. Okay. Uh, uh, Roundtree or Feudenberger? No. Nah, exactly. You know, right. and, yeah. Yeah. Right. I've done That's that. Nice. But you know, I'll be honest, I, I, I've looked at a ballot and not know who, the, other than the main right. offices. Yeah. After that, I'm like, I don't know who I'm voting for. Right. So and we have to educate ourselves. Right. Educate you know? ourselves. You have to do your research. Yeah. Right. But, because, but I do believe in voting for people to have the people's interest at right. heart. Yeah. That people that want to make a difference. I believe in voting for people that what they say that comes out of their mouth also is duplicated by their actions right and if right. they if people support negative <laughs> i said like this if you don't like what our president is doing Come how on. he's talking about people and doing things of that nature if the people that you're voting for are in support of that then you might want to change your vote right, right. you Absolutely. know right. and it's just like if that's the representation that you want for your country for your town for your place right Think about that. Well, I must say say this, okay? I've got friends that are extremely conservative, and mm-hmm. they're wonderful people. They voted a certain way in 2016 because they really believed what that right. person was saying. Mm-hmm. I have had, on several occasions, just in the last week, mm-hmm. them say there is no way, even though I don't agree with the Democratic side, there's no way I could vote Republican again right. until things change because that's not the Republican that... Mm -hmm. I grew up with conservative values, you know, family oriented values and stuff like that. That's not what they see right now. So they're voting blue just because Because of the current current situation. situation. And I can understand. And I can respect that. Even they're not going to stand in line and say, oh, I like that person. But they're going to say, I can't stand for what's going on. Because I'm going to be honest with you. There are some dumb Democrats, you know, and there's some dumb Republicans. And I can I can't say just because you are wearing red or blue. I'm going to vote for you. I want to know, I want to know what are you going to do for my community? But I'd like the last word to come from you, Daniel. Well, a lot of times people vote, uh, like, like you were saying, Marty, they vote, uh, because that's what the whole house wants to vote. But a lot of people vote against their own interests. Mm. If you know that you're not getting what you want from, uh, the particular politician that basically has been in there for a number of years, then it's time to really look beyond just, you know, something just, Marking him, yeah, because he, my mama know him or whatever. Uh, he looks the same as right. I do. Right. Uh, and you really have to vote for your best interest. And right. then there's at times where where uh, you know that you have somebody that you know that does not uh, participate. Right. And get them out to the polls. Yeah, we got to get now, everybody out yeah, to the polls. Yeah. Now we're really getting to where right. it's just a few hundred uh, voters difference. Right. You know, right. So, so we really have to just kind of – not only vote, but encourage others to, yeah. to vote. You, you know, guys, I, make your voices heard. Yeah. Go out, make a difference, do uh-huh. what you can to, you know, be involved in your community. Yes. Do that, yeah. do that, do that. And you know what? It doesn't matter who you vote for. Just make sure you vote, you and, know. And Daniel, one more time, how do we get in contact with you so we can see your art and find out what's going on with you again? Well, you can go to my website. It's uh, www.danielhodges.com. Or I can be reached at 314-495-4525. And your social media, how do they and get in contact? social media, it's uh, artist Daniel Hodges. Uh, at, that's on, uh, what's the name of that? Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. Well, we have had a great show. Yep. We are, we, thank you so much for coming. Right. Thank you for having me. You know me. what? I am Stacey Abrams. And vote for, no, I'm oh. sorry. I'm Marty <laughs> Bigger. <laughs> I'll see you soon next week. That's right. And I'm Donnie Jones. Look forward to talking to you next week also. Vote!
Hey, this is your girl, Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service. Don's Tree Service has been serving the metro Atlanta area for almost 20 years. I'm a certified arborist, and we are fully licensed and insured. Call us at 770-413-TREE. We give free estimates, and we don't charge extra for cleanup. Don's Tree Service, that's 770-413-TREE, or visit us online at Don'sTree.com. So the reason we went with Don's Tree Service is we needed a couple things done at our house. We needed some trimming of uh, some trees done. But then we also had this old, big, beautiful tree in our backyard that was our deck was built around this tree. And it was just getting old and limbs were starting to fall. And we just knew eventually it was either going to land on the house or we needed to have it taken down. So we called around and got a few quotes. And then we met with Don's Tree Service and they were just, they were awesome. And they we ended up going with them. And um, I can't say enough about their work. The, they came in with their crane and got the tree down and it looks great. It looks great. I would definitely use them again. 